Hey guys, it is Sergeant Morgasm here, and welcome to episode 1 of The Ultimate Team. The Ultimate Team is a series that I'll be starting today and I'll go on every single week until all the squads are finished with really. What is The Ultimate Team? Basically, you guys, everyone knows what Foothead is. You guys will be able to go onto Foothead, create any kind of squad. It can be expensive, it can be cheap, it can be budget, it can be... It can have zero chemistry for all I care. So you guys can make a squad and then comment in the comment section below of any episode of the Ultimate Team series and you comment your URL and I'll be checking it out. If you guys want to earn yourself 75,000 coins on FIFA 15, all you have to do is comment it and if I choose your squad, you have earned yourself coins. Now that that's over, let's get into the first squad. This first squad is a Serie A squad. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually extremely good for how much it's worth. You could get rid of the likes of Pogba and Cadrado because they do go for a few thousand coins and you can easily find any decent replacements really. Okay, to start off with this squad, we have Buffon in goals. Buffon, I don't need to say anything, he's a brilliant keeper, brilliant nation and brilliant team. And second of all in the defense, we have Evra and Maicon as the fullbacks and in centre backs we have Barzaghi and Chiellini. Going up into the centre mid position we have Perlo, Pogba and Marquisio. Brilliant players for a brilliant team, Juventus. And finally for the three forwards, first of all on the right wing we have Cadrado, 5 star skiller, brilliant player. Left wing we have El Sharawe and striker we have Ibrabo. <laughs> Let's get back to the defence, Chiellini and Barzaghi. Both Italian, both play for Juventus, both pretty fast for centre backs, good defending, good physical, and they're both six foot one. Now with the full backs, we have Evra and Mykon, both relatively fast with around about 80 pace each. They both have about 80 physical and 80 defending, which is something I really do like because they can outstrength and outmuscle the opposition's wingers. And now with the midfielders, first of all we have Marquisio. He is a very all-round player with 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot, he's 5 foot 10 and he has high defending and high attacking work rate. He is actually really good. Like, him and Pogba paired up, they're both all-round players with 4-star skills and weak foot. And then you've got Pirlo in the middle, who's actually really good, like, he has good long shots, he has good dribbling and he has good passing. I'm not gonna lie, his pace, his physical and his defending does put me off him a lot of the time. And finally, the three forwards. First of all, we have El Sharawe. He has good pace, good dribbling, good shot, good pass, really bad physical and really bad defending, but he does actually have four star skills and four star weak foot, which is obviously a really good thing about a forward. Second of all, let's go to Victor Abrabo. He is just sweat. Since last year, he, well, he had three star skills last year, as you should know. But now he's got a 4-star. He is so overpowered. You, I think you can see a really good skill shot. No, a skill goal. That actually score in this compilation. And I'm not going to lie. It was brilliant. Him and Cadrado. Just up front are amazing. Anyway, he actually has 78 physical as well. And he is 6 foot 2. Which is really, really good for a striker. I like to be crossing in the ball. And finally, let's go to Cadrado. He has 93 pace. 77 shot. 76 pass. 87 dribbling and 71 physical and he has got 5 star skills. He is just a perfect winger, you can't ask for much more except for a higher weak foot and a, less def and a lower defending rate. Other than that, those 3 forwards are just, for what, well, for what you pay, they are amazing. So because the market crash is only a week away, if you were going to build this team, I'd I'd stop, I wouldn't buy Pogba or Cadrado for another six or five days because they're just going to drop in price. They're both going to be probably around 10000 or less each, which is really good. And that'll actually halve the price. No, that'll more than halve the price of the team. So my best player is Juan Cadrado, and that is mainly because of his pace, his dribbling, and his five-star skill. If he wasn't in the team, I honestly don't think that this team would have much on it because he scores just some absolutely outstanding goals for me. Now that I've said who my best player is in this team, I've got to go to the worst. The worst is Patrice Evra. He just didn't perform for me. Like, his reactions are sh just, they're just shocking. 
Like, he's a good defender, but there are a few other replacements you could have chosen instead. Remember, if you're low on coins and you want to earn yourself 75,000 coins, all you have to do is comment on this video, and if I choose you, you've earned yourself 75,000 coins for doing pretty much nothing. So don't forget guys, comment on the video, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. If you guys enjoyed episode 1 of The Ultimate Team, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more daily FIFA 15 videos. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.